I've got a low income triplex. If you're a cash flow investor and you're interested in low income multifamily, stay tuned for today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to episode 317 of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. And this show, it's all about, well, this show is all about helping you guys start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. It's all about my man, John from Maryland, okay? John, I just got done uh, filming another video for you, right? We probably, you probably just watched it, right? So we just talked about that particular property. That's a hell of a deal, but at the moment it's not available. May come available here shortly. Uh, well, I could come here shortly. Could also come in the next couple months. So that one's very much up in the air. And I know you really like the Metro Health area, right? You like that neighborhood. You're familiar with Section 8 Reynolds. So I wanted to give you a little something to chew on while you kind of monitor that property. This is a low-income triplex. I actually sent this to a couple other clients. They were not interested, but I think, based upon previous conversations with you, that this might be right up your alley. So I want you to take a look at the financial analysis now. 2105 West 93rd, Cleveland, 44102. Hit the market two weeks ago. And the reason it's still on the market, even though that these properties are very rare, is it is overpriced, okay? It's overpriced a little bit. 159900 Now, looking at the pictures, I like the property. I'm not saying it's a bad property. It's actually pretty gnarly. Uh, the first thing you can see, right, from the photos, it is a side-by-side-by-side, -by -side -by -side, right? You get the town house layout. Anybody who's watched a lot of my content knows if you have the opportunity, folks, uh, to get a multifamily property where it's a side-by-side -side layout versus an up-down layout, take that opportunity to do so. I've got thousands of tenants. I've done, done this stuff for a long time, dealt with a lot of this stuff. I will tell you right now, unequivocally, having the side-by-side -side layout versus the up-down layout is going to reduce your turnover, right? There's nobody above or below uh, those tenants making noise, right? So these side-by-side -side layouts, you know, they're much nicer. Uh, I prefer those, right? Those are the way uh, that we like to go here. So that is pretty cool. Other than that, the photos that you see here, folks, these are of the units before the current owner put any of the tenants in there, right? Now, we have fully occupied uh, property here, right? The rents are as follows, 555 and a quarter, 550. So it brings in 1625 a month or 19500 a year. As far as whether or not their market, it's pretty close to market, right? They're one bedroom units. So of course, we're going to see the rents be a little bit lower. You know, we could probably, you know, maximum, maybe get these up to 600 a piece if we did better, higher quality finishes, like taking a look uh, at some of these photos, right? What you're going to see, right? You got some random stuff in here. Like, you know, we got a baby blue paint color and they've done the trim uh, in the exact same color, right? That's, you know, it's pretty low budget, to be honest with you. This, this current seller is trying to do this stuff as cheap as humanly possible, right? So if you want to increase that rent in the future for your next tenants, uh, which, you know, is probably a smart move, especially another thing we could do too is go to the Section 8 program. We do that, we could probably easily hit 600 a unit. Um, what you really want to do though is you want to go with like an agreeable gray and then make the trim pop by going white. Um, what they've done here just it shows me they're trying to do it the cheapest way humanly possible. But uh, other than that, um, I, I kind of dig what they've done. You know, it's low income housing, so none of their fin finishes are amazing, but it, it appears to be workable for what we have at the right price. The right price is not going to be what they're asking for, not that 159.9, but I'll get into that in a moment though. Okay. So based upon what we have right now though, currently, right? 
1625. Let's do the numbers based upon the current rents, not the increase in rents, because of course that would require unit turnovers and increased renovation. And you know, that's not on the horizon for us right now, right? Let's deal with what's in front of us. So 1625 is coming in. I anticipate an average expense of 841 a month, leaving us with an NOI of 784. And that's also calculating savings for uh, our capital expenditures, right? Our roof, our furnaces, our hot water tanks. We have not been given any information on these items. I would anticipate they're somewhere in the mid range of their life cycles, right? So we're looking at three Ks per furnace to replace when we need to do those. We do those every 30 years. Hot water tanks, we replace those on average every 15 years. Those are all a thousand. Uh, this would be a flat rolled roof, right? So uh, a little bit different than the pitched, uh, the pitched asphalt roofs you normally see. Okay, uh, the way these roofs typically work is it's like a, it's flat, it's a rubberized coating, and uh, you know every few years you just put more coating on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click. The digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Eventually, though, eventually it will get to the point where it is too heavy and you need to, to cut down and you need to remove all those layers, okay? And, uh, you know, completely start over, right? You're going to have to do that probably once every like 75 years, okay? Uh, other than that, though, just uh, normal maintenance is going to be okay. Uh, the particular seller has only owned this for a couple of years, so we don't have any information on how many layers are there. But that is, of course, why when we make offers, we make them contingent on a third-party home inspection. But based upon the price point, I want you guys to pay for this uh, and based upon what we're getting in rents, I would not anticipate uh, that – that has already been done uh, in, in the recent, uh, you know, in any of the recent years, right? So I would assume uh, that is something that's going to be on the horizon for you guys. How soon that's going to be, how many layers have actually put on, been put on top, uh, I can't tell you from where I'm at right now. That's going to be something you're going to need to lean on your home inspector for, a little bit more information there uh, if we get to that point in the transaction. But with all of that said, with where I think we're at right now, what I think is a fair price for this property is $30,000 less than what we're asking for it. I think uh, if we make them an offer of $130,000 or if we could take this down for $130,000, all things considered, I think that's a hell of a deal for you guys. Now, I know originally you guys had set up uh, a rough budget for me. You wanted to stay uh, in the $120,000 range. I understand uh, that this is $10,000 higher than that, but I think that's probably the best case scenario. I don't see you guys taking it down for any less than $130,000. And uh, you guys are really big on getting those triplexes and those quads. So as I said earlier, the inventory is very, very low in regards to triplexes and quads. So it's not like uh, I could just, you know, kick these to you every two weeks, right? They're, they're going to come out very infrequently. So if we're not able to go uh, above the budget just a little bit, I, I would suggest opening up your criteria to include more duplexes. Uh, but if we do take this down at 130000 I anticipate this running at a 7-2 cap for you uh, with these current rents, a little bit higher, of course, if we get the uh, max rents on the Section 8 program, which I think, again, we can go up to about 600 a unit doing that. But that, again, will require nicer finishes on the inside, right? We can't just do everything in baby blue, right? We got to put some effort into it, right? Uh, but with a loan too, right? Uh, get a bank to loan you $97,500. You guys put down $32,500. It would run at almost 14% cash on cash return. All right, John, welcome back, brother. So let me know uh, if you think this is one that you'd like to pursue, right? I, I think a guy like you, you've experienced Section 8. I, I think it's a cash cow, right? We're very close to Metro Health. I think that that is a, a strong reason to consider this property, but you might also... Uh, want to hedge your bets and kind of wait 
on the other property that I just filmed earlier for you today. So let me know what you'd like to do. Reply to this private email that we sent both videos to you. If you want to make an offer, my team will take care of that for you. We will also be there for you to schedule your inspections. Everybody else, if you like what you saw today, if you'd like to work with us one-on-one -on -one in the way John is doing, all you need to do is send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. My team will give you a call, talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, what you're trying to accomplish, and we'll see if we are the right fit for you. If you've watched a bunch of the content here on Holton Weiss TV and you're just ready to go, you're like, dude, sign me up. I like what you guys do. You can go ahead and click the show notes below. Order a package today. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Weiss TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.